This, I don't know why we call this the reverse paradigm. It's just a zebra midge with a tail with an orange hot spot. So sue me. Fly fish food. Okay, this fly pattern is very, very basic. So it's just got, it's basically a zebra midge with a tail with a hot spot. So we're just going to start wrapping this with 140 denier thread. Um, I like using 140 denier thread on this fly because we're going to build up the body out of thread a little bit. Just makes it a little faster. Okay, for the tail, I'm going to put on some Coq de Leon here. And I, to, to get it to length, I like to just put it at an angle behind the hook. Um, pinch it in place, and then my first thread wrap should pull that right up on top of the hook shank like that. And now we've got a nice length on that tail. So brassy size gold wire is what we'll rib it with. We'll just put that right up here by the bead. And I'm, I'm going to unwind my thread because if this gets too, uh, too spun up, you'll be able to see this a lot better since it's 140 denier. Just make sure to keep your thread nice and flat. And just start building a taper. So we have a nice taper built up on this. I'll just take my wire now and put a rib in it. We'll just catch that, tie it off, and throw a whip finish in there. Now to finish this fly off, most Paradigons have a black little wing case on top of it. We're going to throw some of this Gulf Ambulance in hot fluorescent orange on this one. pretty thick resin so we're gonna dollop it in there get it inside the slot of the bead and then just kind of tease it back to where we want it from here we'll just hit set it with the light and then as a final step we'll take some really thin resin and coat the whole fly Okay, once I've coated the whole fly, we'll just tag it with the light and we're done. The reverse paradigm.